in way too many videos people take of Westboro Baptist Church, you have people who insist on telling us Westboro Baptist Church only has 50 members and most of them are related to Fred Phelps. They are saying this as if that fact proves something. They are saying this as if they are making some grand argument that totally annihilates Westboro Baptist Church because it's so convincing. This says nothing. This is a logical fallacy. If memory serves me correctly, it was Aristotle who first described this logical fallacy. And if I pronounce it correctly, the Latin term for it is argumentum ad numerum, which in English is appealing to the numbers or saying something is right because it's popular. This is unbelievably convincing to many people. Which is certainly the reason these people who take those videos you see on YouTube use this argument. Essentially what Aristotle and the other logic philosophers have said is it doesn't matter if something's popular or not. It only matters if it's logically correct and logically true. Fred Phelps and his associates are very logical people. It makes me wonder, is logic always good? But they are very logical people. I have debated a lot of illogical Christians, or at least several illogical Christians, and I don't think I'd want to debate Fred Phelps. Number one, I wouldn't have a reason to debate him. Number two, He's too logical. Didn't your mother teach you that just because everyone is jumping over the cliff, that doesn't make it right? But that's what all these people are saying. And so many find it convincing. It doesn't matter if Westboro Baptist Church has 50 or 50,000 members. There are some good things that are popular and some bad things that are popular. Popularity is not relevant to the merits of something. Furthermore, anyone who uses this argument demonstrates they are not familiar with Westboro Baptist Church's objections or Calvinist theology. Calvinist theology has five points known as the five points of Calvinism. Certainly, most people who attack Westboro Baptist Church are not well acquainted with the five points of Calvinism. I'm not claiming I'm a Calvinist scholar. I'm just getting into it. But I can at least tell you the five points. Total depravity, unconditional election, limited atonement, irresistible grace and perseverance of the saints. The most germane point for our purposes is unconditional election. Before I got to my current level of knowledge in Westboro Baptist Church, I thought all the babes they have in that church, they could really bring the dudes in. After all, little is more sexy than Calvinist babes trampling over flags. But now that I know more about Westboro Baptist Church, I realize they don't want more members because Calvinism is about unconditional election. They believe there are just an elect few who are there to serve God. And those are going to be in their church. They don't want millions of people in their church. They don't believe millions of people are called by God. Only a rare few. They like the elite status of their views. 
So they're not aiming to attract members. They don't care if they have only 50 members. They're more concerned with quality than with quantity. So your argument that just because they have few members, that means their whole belief system is wrong, is fucking stupid. They don't care. They got the members they need to do what they want to do. So you've proved nothing. You've not defeated them. They go on strong. <laughs>